Hello, so I wanted to make this quick video to show you a different way of randomizing elements in your survey. So this, if you recognize, is I think the survey I created in class. And what I did at the bottom is I added two images. So here's one, an ad for Brita, and here's just another image I think I had found of this wonderful minivan, right? So I had these two images. Notice that each one is like a separate quote-unquote question. So this one is a question, and I added, you know, text with text here. So we see the text, and then this one above it, again, is a separate question, so Q8. Um, they have different headings, so I, this is important, too, where it says name for your image or instructions. Uh, and this one has, you know, awesome instructions here. It's actually maybe not a bad idea if you're showing images to have a brief line of text to just provide them in guidance for, you know, what to do. So say, you know, please view this image below for about 30 seconds or as long as it takes you to form an impression of it. And also, if you do that, it'll make it easier to track what I'm going to show you. So you can just put those directly in this one block. So in this example, as I click here, then the, um, and anyway, you can see it's all one block, just seven questions. I'll expand it. So what you do is you don't make um, you don't do anything down here where the images are. You go to the top of your block, and then you have this block options thing. So I'm going to click on block options, and then look at this. We see this thing that says question randomization. So I'm going to click in there. All right. So what we're going to do is actually go down to the advanced randomization. Sounds advanced, right? And what we're going to do is we're going to take those two questions, which are really you know the images. And this is the first one, the name for your image or um, instructions for viewing. That was the text that was above my first image. We're going to put it here in the second one. It gives you three options, randomized questions, randomized subset, undisplayed items. We're going to work in this middle section, the random subset. So I'm going to click on the image or question I want to include, and I'm going to add it here to the random subset. Then I'm going to click on the other one, the awesome instructions here. That was for the van image. Okay, so again, it's helpful to know what text preceded your images or was tied to it and I'm gonna hit the arrow and drop it in so I have those two things these are the two pictures the van and the Brita ad and then I'm gonna say randomly insert and then one one question from the list okay so now Qualtrics will take care of just showing people one of those images so I'll hit save and then theoretically I hit it again and we're done so you can see what you've done is you've said okay randomly either show people this image or show them that one and everything else that precedes or follows it will be the same. Now we can test this. If I hit preview, and you can test this yourself, I'll hit preview, and real quick, I can see I scroll down, and oh, there's the minivan image, and then hit that, and I'm done. Say, so, great, I'll close the preview. That's great. Let's see what happens if I preview it again. So if it's randomized, we shouldn't see that same minivan image, and lo and behold, now we get the Brita image. So that's great. Okay, so we've tested it. I'll close the preview up here. Okay, so that's a way you can test to make sure that it works. One other thing as I go back into this randomization area, one other thing which I don't think I clicked, yeah, so actually I kind of looked out. I would also do this evenly present elements. That means that you don't accidentally end up with 15 of one image and 5 of the other. You could maybe end up with 10 and 10, or at least pretty close there. So I would say to click on this evenly present elements. Don't worry about this edit count because you're not trying to say hit this number. If you don't have that, it's probably not a big deal, but I think that's always a good idea. And then hit save. All right, so that's it. That's just a simple way to edit um, or to randomize images if you want people to see one image or another one, and you don't have to go through the block, um, creating different blocks like I showed you before, which, of course, would also work, but just requires a little bit more. That's it. Hope you enjoy, and have a super day and super finals.